Well, things are bad. About 10 days ago, the power went out in our entire town. You can't get gas. There's no radio. There's no TV. Our cell phones don't work. Yesterday, I went in the kitchen to get some water for coffee and turn the faucet on and nothing. Nothing at all. On the edge of our neighborhood, we have this stream. The water is pretty putrid. Yeah, it's pretty bad. But it's gonna have to do. It's all we got. Well, the fact of the matter is, bad things happen, and we don't get to choose when they happen. You have to be ready for them. It can be uh, frozen pipes in your home. It can be frozen pipes in your cabin or in your trailer, your RV. RV, yeah. Uh, making your water supply limited. It's always good to have a backup, because what's the number one thing we have to have? Water. Yep followed by shelter or maybe those two are kind of you know depends on the weather there you know but you only get about three days without water so you should always have something now Lynn and i did uh put out a video a few months ago on how to make a berkey style filter for your home it was only about 35 bucks but you had to build it, it saves you about 300 dollars on buying a more expensive filter to get the bacteria out of the water. We're not in an emergency situation. You're not concerned with chemicals so much as you are concerned with bacteria because that'll kill you within a few days right. or it can. Yeah. Uh, dysentery is no laughing matter and giardia, that's bad. Yeah, leptospirosis, um, all those nasty bacterias. That's right. So you want to be prepared for that. This is a water filter in here that's only about well, right now, right now it's only 35 bucks, but it's normal price is about 46. But I've been uh, playing around with this one over the last couple of days. It's made by Membrane Solutions, and it's just a good thing to have in your home, in your car, in your trailer, in your motorhome, to have this along. It's a, uh, I'm gonna show you how this works, and we're gonna drink the water because Whereas Linda and I were play acting a few minutes ago, one thing we're not play acting about is this stream is putrid. It really is. Look at the, there's foam on it. This is not good, but this is gonna make that drinkable. It's got a six liter bag. It's about 1.6 gallons. And I'll show you the details on this when we get home where it's warm. Let me just put this to work, okay? First thing I want to do is fill this bag, put some water in the bag. This is a deep part right here where I can do this. Man, it's cold. It's about 25 degrees out right now. Yep, that water looks mucky. Oh. <laughs> All right, let me see this side here. Turn off the little valve there. Okay, that's good. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna roll down the top here. Yeah, it's, you close it up like those uh, waterproof uh, gear bags for... Uh, for canoeing and kayaking. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't leak when you do that. That's good. Let's go find a place to hang this up. We'll try this out. Alrighty. This is the part that just plugs into the bottom here. Let a little of the water flow through. And then from here, you can fill, fill your water jugs. I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm gonna show you something else. Watch this. You 
Yeah. I brought along a glass so you can see that I'm going to drink this water. Yeah, it's a real glass. It's a real glass. I wanted you to be able to see that I'm going to drink it. So this part is the filter. You got a kink right there. Oh yeah. There we go. Except I don't think you can see down here. Oh, oh yeah, tip the it's camera much, over. Much clearer. I'll hold it. All right. Now you can see that the water still has that coloration in it. It's not going to take the, that tannins out of the water. It will eliminate some of the bad taste. It's designed for eliminating the bacteria. 99.99999%. This water is safe to drink even though it's not too pretty. <laughs> cheers. Yeah. <laughs> yep, cheers. Does it smell funny? It doesn't smell funny or taste funny. It'll keep you alive. There's another filter I want to show you. This is the Membrane Solutions Personal Straw. And this is highly recommended for carrying in your car, in your backpack, anywhere, just to, just to have it along. Oh, by the way, these two filters, the big one will filter 796 gallons before you need to replace the filter. That's a lot. That's a lot. And this one is 392 gallons of water that this will filter. Uh, anyways, just wanted to demonstrate this one. All right. Same thing, except this one you just dip it in and use it like a straw. Oops, helps to pop the cap off. Yeah, anyways, this does have, does take the taste out too. Um, by the way, uh, takes out the bacteria. It also takes out uh, some chemicals like chlorine, iodine, and other harmful chemicals is what they uh, put in their advertisements. Membrane solutions. Now let's go home and talk about this where it's safe and warm and the heat is still on and so is the electricity. Yeah, I can warm my fingers up. Yeah. <laughs> well, the cleanup is really easy on these things. And that's one way that they really shine above the Sawyers is that the filter itself, this part here can be taken apart. Right now I'm just gonna rinse this bag out. And yeah, that water down there, that was yucky stuff. I just wanted to show you, I've used these filters for years, not this particular brand. I just, this is the first time I've seen these. But I've used this style filter for years. Just running some fresh water through the hose. Now where this filter, this brand, Membrane Solutions, shines over the Sawyer filters is that these come apart for cleaning. And that is really nice. This is the straw end down here. But the filter just pops right out. And you can back flush it the other way. Also this one down here, that one pops out too. 
This is the screen that filters out the, the debris and stuff, but it also comes out. It looks to me, I don't know this, but it looks to me like that's charcoal impregnated. That probably helped with the, the reason that that water didn't taste bad to me. It just tasted like regular water. But this also comes apart. You can rinse that off too. Yeah, I like this because then you can just let this stuff air dry. So it doesn't mold or anything. That's, uh, this, this is nice. Also, this is a larger filter than the Sawyer's. So uh, I think it'll last longer. Very nicely made, by the way. Well, that's the big filter. What about the little filter? Well, it does the same thing. This is the straw end here. You, can, you don't have to take these apart. You can just back flush them this way. This is the straw end. Just force the water in that end. Or this end of the filter comes off. It's got that a smaller version of that. That debris filter and charcoal filter right there. And then the rest of the filter is in there. I just back flushed it. Anyways, that's how you clean these. So I'm gonna lay these out on a towel and let them dry. That's a nice thing though, you can take these apart so they can dry out. It's a very nice feature. I think these are leaps and bounds above the Sawyer brand, which I have. I bought the Sawyer brand, been using it for a couple of years now. The other nice thing about this uh, membrane solutions is that it folds up so small, unlike the Sawyer, which is a big bulky package because of that bag doesn't fold up very well. And then this goes in a nice small carry bag. So yeah, I like it. The other thing I liked is you saw in the video, I had this hanging on a rock face. This strap, which can be uh, made a lot longer, is very convenient for hanging this bag up. Making it so you can hang it on tree branches or anywhere. Unlike the Sawyer that just had the one little handle. This is very handy. Now one thing it tells you is not to clean the filters themselves in bleach. It's okay to rinse this out with a little bleach water if you want to, but not the filters themselves. Just to be clear on these filters, these will filter out bacteria, microplastics, odor, iodine, chlorine, and heavy metal. Everybody asks me when I do water filters about um, fluoride. I don't know. I think that for, and also these won't filter salt water. So for instances where you're concerned about fluoride or if you want to uh, turn salt water into fresh water, you need to look into a reverse osmosis filter. Those are available also, but they're a lot of money. But if you're in that situation, then it's worth having. Membrane solutions. Price-wise, these, um, Personal straws from Membrane Solutions come in a two-pack for $18.69 delivered. And this system here for camp or for home use, which is why I brought this up, is $45.99, but there's a 20% off coupon, and that takes this down to around $35 or so. Nice unit. Anyways, that's the idea, is to have something on your person, in your pack, in your car, the smaller one like this or something for camp use that filters a larger amount of water or to use in your home in case of emergencies. This is a very easy solution to building your own filter or buying a Berkey or something like that, is just to have this one from Membrane Solutions. I, st I strongly recommend this one, just to have it around, it's important. Anyways, you guys, if you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you around. Yeah.